Okay, uh, just a minute. Let me turn you over to the correct office. Okay, thank you so much, Lindsay. You've been very helpful. Public information, Kathleen. Yes. Am I speaking with a sworn peace officer? A who? A sworn peace officer, somebody that took an oath to the Constitution? No, I'm a receptionist. Uh, may I please speak with a, a sworn police officer? And your name is? My name is Ashley. One moment, please. Thank you. Lieutenant Vance, may I help you? Yes. Who am I speaking with? What's your name? You're speaking with Lieutenant Vance. Oh, nice to meet you, Lieutenant Vance. Yes, ma'am. My name is Ashley. I have a question. My husband received a letter in the mail um, regarding... Let me get to it. Hold on. Uh-huh. It's basically, it's, it's from the field, State of Connecticut, Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection, Division of State Police, Special Fi- Licensing and Firearms Unit. And it basically, it says because he missed the deadline of January 1st, 2014 to register his so-called assault weapon or high-capacity magazines, yep. he, he now has to turn them in or sell them to a dealer. Um, yeah, the four, there are four choices, yes, ma'am. Okay, so my question is this. What happens if my husband decides not to do this? Well, that's a better question for a lawyer, but uh, my understanding is it's a felony uh, to, uh, to possess an unregistered uh, Assault weapon in a high capacity magazine. Okay, so what what will happen then if if my husband refuses? Will you come to to our home to arrest him? Well, I'm not. I certainly wouldn't. But uh, I mean, he could be subject to arrest. I mean, we haven't crossed that bridge just yet. To be honest with you, um, I don't have a good answer for you as to what what would happen. I know that that letter was sent out with the intent to tell people that um, you know, make sure we know you have the weapon and and. Uh, if that, in fact, is uh, is accurate and you haven't gotten rid of it, uh, you know, here are your options if you want to be within the boundaries of the law. Okay, but, so uh, this do, does, I, is, isn't this a very slippery slope that's going on here, Putting going to uh, put the police in harm's way? Um, I don't see that, ma'am. But, um, you, you mean know, going door to door to, pe- to people's homes, if it comes down to that, is not putting the police in harm's way? Well, I don't know. We're in harm's way every day, ma'am. I mean, I don't, we don't look at it like that. We just simply want uh, people to abide by whatever the laws are, and we're sworn to, to uphold the law. I mean, that's... that's but did uh, you take an oath? Right. Did you take an oath to the Constitution, Lieutenant Vance? Did I take an oath to the Constitution? What bearing does that have in this, con- in this conversation, ma'am? Well, because any law that is unconstitutional is null and void. If you're following an unlawful order... Then, well, you're go- then you're going against any, the very Constitution. Any law Constitution. that's been deemed unconstitutional by the U.S. Supreme Court, I would have to agree with you, ma'am, but that has, this law has not been deemed unconstitutional by the state and or Supreme Court. So until that does occur, it's a lawful law, ma'am. Okay, so you say, so if the Supreme Court says it's a lawful law, okay, then are you going to start going to our homes? I, people- haven't, well, yeah, I don't make that decision, ma'am. Well, if you're, I, if you're, I know you don't make that decision, but if you are asked to, will you do it? If we're instructed to, ma'am. Yes, if you're instructed to. I'm sure to. I, we're not. We're not the Gestapo, and, and I don't want the the inference of that. This is the third call I've taken on this today, and I don't know where all this is coming from. But quite frankly, I can tell you where it's coming from. It's, it's, it's from me, scared from scared people that live in the state of Connecticut that have. Oh, heard. okay. All right, but, I get it. I, and yeah, that's what that's what you have attorneys for, and that's uh, your attorney can give you advice as to what you should and shouldn't do uh, relative to to any law in the state of Connecticut. But, you know, I can't give you that advice. All I can tell you is that the laws are written by your legislators, and uh, they're signed into law by by the leaders of our our state. And those are the people you should be discussing this with, ma'am. We don't have any any control over that whatsoever. Well, yes, you do, because... No, we don't, ma'am. No, I'll interrupt you. We do not. Why don't you have... Why do you say you have no control over this? I'm very curious. We have no control, ma'am. We're sworn to enforce the laws of the state of Connecticut. And these are lawful laws that we're sworn to enforce. Now, what how is... we're going to go about the mechanism of enforcing this law, that's still being determined, ma'am. And I think we're putting, people are putting the cart before the horse here. No, because uh, we have to have this discussion because it's getting very dangerous. Not with me, ma'am. Not with me. With your legislators would be the proper place. No, because the police are the ones that are going to be used to enforce this law. That's so the... we're not, we're, yeah, we, we certainly do enforce all laws, ma'am. We, we, so we the conversation... 
the conversation. I don't want to talk about the Constitution, ma'am, at all. Not at all. I said the conversation. I'm about state law. I said the conversation. I didn't say Constitution. I okay, said. Okay, ma'am, you're, you're you're asking a whole lot of questions. How can I help you, ma'am? What do you want me to do? I want to know when it, if it comes down to it, will the police go to my home if I ref, if my husband refuses to give up a weapon that was formerly legal and now has been made illegal by a corrupt legislator? Will the police actually go to my home and threaten my family? Because I'm scared to we death. Don't threaten, we don't threaten people, ma'am. That, that if you're happen. going with the force of government, that's a threat. Ma'am, uh, you know, it sounds like you're anti-American. It sounds like you're anti-law. I'm anti-American? No, I'm pro-American. Ma'am, I can't answer your questions. No, I'm ma'am, pro- I'm ma'am, pro-American. I answer your questions. I'm we're, pro-American. We're, we're... Are you okay, serious? But, you just but, called me anti-American? You're... No, ma'am. Are you going to call me a terrorist you, now you, because I have questions? I don't have time for this, ma'am. I don't have time for this. Now, if you don't want an answer to any questions, then I, then I think our conversation is I over. I do want an answer. I would suggest I really that you want contact an your attorney and have your attorney explain the laws to you and what you're your rights are to, and what You're going to speak do, to me this way, someone that pays your salary as resident of the Connecticut? I pay my own salary, too, ma'am. I pay taxes probably just like you do. You, well, you're so. a servant. You serve me. You don't serve the legislator, sir. Remember? I serve everyone, ma'am. Everyone listens well, to that's right. Connecticut. That's right. Including myself, ma'am. You don't serve the legislator, sir. I you, do, ma'am. You have to decide what you're going to do when it comes down okay, to it. Okay, ma'am. I, this is not a conversation I'm going to have with you because really it's not your affair what I do and what I don't do. Really? If you come to my home and threaten the, me with the force of government? I would never do that, in, ma'am. I would never do that. I would never come to your home, ma'am. Absolutely would not do that because I don't do that kind of work. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Well, maybe not you, but your the lower people in your under your ranks. That yes, you'll send. ma'am. Okay. That's yeah, the We only threat. enforce the laws that are broken. And if any laws are broken, we're sworn by... Or sworn by the Constitution well, remember to this, those laws. Okay, remember the Supreme Court used to rule that black people were not human. Okay. Ma'am, I think I think it's 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 up to you to to talk with your legislators and talk well, with Well the your, legislators your, don't listen. They don't there's listen. Nothing I can do about it, ma'am. Yes, there is there's because you can, can refuse to follow unlawful orders. Okay. If you okay. can't do that that means you're an enemy of America. Okay, ma'am, I'm not discussing this with I think our conversation's over. I suggest you contact your attorney, ma'am. So really, okay. so all right. Just remember, okay, you're the servant. We're the masters, okay. And if you come to master, my home, ma'am. I'm the master. You're really, absolutely right. you're Thank the master. You very much for your con- no, you're for your the servant. Ma'am. You're the servant. We're the masters. Yeah. Thank you come you very to my much home. Conversation, ma'am. Okay.